disaster as IGP Usman Baba almost died, escaped death narrowly in Lagos. Hello, my wonderful people. That's the new IGP of police, uh, the one who took over uh, where the other one was in a in the southeast thinking he was carrying out a major job all of a sudden he, he got the news like every other person online that he has been replaced uh, recently igp was he was, i mean he was on interior he has been confirmed you know he's now the igp he was in lagos since yesterday he's been in lagos uh preparing towards june 12th if you're not aware they've declared june 12th now a holiday because they don't want people's movement they've uh, deployed soldiers all over major cities and states to ensure that people there is no protest and so he is in lagos for them to carry out those plans and all that and put things in place however god just save him if i don't die but god just saved him what happened was you get to hear all in a full detail please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time thank you god bless you disaster as igp baba almost died escaped death narrowly in lagos there was a near acne agony at the police headquarters in lagos on wednesday june the 9th 2021 when the inspector general of police paid his first official visit to the police command in lagos prior to the igp's visit to the headquarters he had paid a courtesy visit to the executive governor of the state mr babajide sanwolu as well as the permanent leader of lagos or ba Akiolu, the Oba of Lagos. It was about 2.20 p.m. as the IGP was about delivering his speech in the presence of the senior officers of the Nigerian police force and pressmen when there was a rainstorm that made the canopy under which the IGP was, was standing so, fell upon him, piercing strong, hard, as the whole thing collapsed on him, the IGP was quickly whisked away by members of security details to a safe haven within the premises. He could not stand any more to give any more speech, as he was advised not to continue on the speech mission, but to rather stay put. This was how he was narrowly saved, as there was serious commotion after just the canopy under which he stood caved in with a heavy rainstorm that almost claimed his life. So this is what is happening. IGP of police almost died. Now God save him. If I don't me, you understand what that means? He would have been gone. But God saved him. It's a Nigerian way of saying he would have been dead. And so, you know, God has just, you know, saved him from an eminent danger that would have claimed his life and, you know, would have, you know, put him, maybe sent him to where, he was not planning yet. However, you know, he was safe. He's been in Lagos and we've been keeping you up to date. Um, and the plans are towards June 12 to ensure that Nigerians do not go out to protest. Uh, if you're not aware, they have declared June 12 as we speak. June 12 has been declared a public holiday. And um, they have given instruction out, uh, dishing it out to everyone who is standing for Ududuwa or Biafra Republic not to come out and say they want to protest. You see, intimidation is the new tactics in Nigeria today. Intimidation is the new one. So whether you like it or not, these things are happening. Nigerians, it's happening. It's happening. We, we don't understand the kind of country we are in. Whether we are in a democracy or in a dictatorship environment, we are not very sure at this point in time. We're not very sure. You know, we're not very sure because what is happening today is a clear indication that we are not in an, a, you know, in a democratic setting. If we are, there should be more to it. We should truly see that we're in a democratic setting. However, this administration has shown to us that there is no, there is no such thing as democracy. They call the shot and uh, that's, it is what it is. We just have to stick by it or whatever I want to do to it is our prerogative. 
they don't give it they don't give a damn and it's really happening you know it's really happening yeah, you, you, thank god he did not lost his life you know but however this is not what he ought to be as a people we need to have a voice you know we cannot stay back and allow these people to just what is wrong if people have a peaceful protest let the people express themselves what is wrong if they come out and say oh this is not right we feel we feel that this government has not done right by the people and they express themselves what is wrong in that what's wrong in that why must you stand against the people coming out on a peaceful protest this was how answers happened NSAS was a peaceful protest where Nigerian youth came out to talk and to campaign against bad government. Today, Buhari is saying that the NSAS was aimed at removing him as the president. If you think you have done well, you will not be bothered about that. How come you are so worried that they want to remove you? If you have done well, why would they want to remove you? These are questions you should be asking yourself. If you have done very well, why do you think they want to remove you? Why? What's their reason if you have done well? If you have been good to the people, if you have led the way you should, why do you think they want to remove you? So it's because, like the, the adage go, clear conscience fears no accusation. But because your own conscience is porous, you know what you have done. You've not done right by the people. Hmm? So now they are planning. They've told Ododua, they've told Biafra, we don't want to see you out. If anybody comes out, this is what we do sending out a threat this is not how to rule a nation but buhari's own is intimidation and threats and that's why they want to ensure that social media is out of reach so that the world will not know in real time all the atrocities being committed to nigerians under the disguise and the name of democracy so they want to take that out and cleverly do what they want to do and when they're asked at the end of the day they can you know they can sneakily say Oh, it's not what you think. It's not what happened. Then nobody will really truly will have anything to say. I mean, you were not there. You see, it's your words against their words. And this is what they are driving at. This is the new thing they are doing. Nigerians, we've got a lot of work to do. And one of such works is to ensure that we continue to let them know that they are, that they are you know, infringing against our fundamental human rights. We are aware and we don't stand for it. We don't support what they are doing. Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. God bless you. Do like us. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.